Hello everybody, this is Zuri and welcome to my channel. This is ZK Art Express. And in today's art tutorial, I first want you all to imagine it is a beautiful, bright, sunny day. The sun is setting in the sky and you look across the horizon and you see this great, gigantic, red winged dinosaur. He is taking a refreshing drink at the beach and in the back of him, there are tall, gigantic, ancient mountains where he sit on this prehistoric landscape. So if you haven't guessed yet, this is exactly what I'm gonna be showing you all how to draw today. So gather your art supplies, gather your pen, gather your pad, gather your eraser, and meet me at the drawing station. Now, if you are interested in what drawing supplies that I will be using in today's art tutorial, that will be in the description box below. But without further ado, everybody, let's get to drawing. Hello, everybody. So before we begin, I want to go over and mention some art techniques that I'm going to be using in today's art lesson video. And so first thing first is I'm going to talk about the grid. So a lot of you all that are familiar with my channel, you know that one thing I always do before I do my drawings is I always place a grid over them. What this helps me do is make sure is that while I'm drawing, all the elements that's within the drawing will end up at the end, fitting proportionally and accurately on the paper. Another thing I'm also going to be doing today is we're going to be using simple shapes, lines, alphabets, um, as well to be able to simplify our drawing, okay? And this is going to help to establish a good foundation. And so as I draw, I can build up on it, right? Without anything that we build, if there's not a good foundation at the bottom of it, it's whack at the end, right? So we're going to be using simple shapes, like I said, lines and alphabets to do that, okay? So let's get into the first step. First step is going to be drawing in the seashore slash um, beach. And the shape that I'm going to be using to express that or draw that in is going to be a half circle. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So welcome to step two. This part is going to be drawing in the head and the neck area of the flying dinosaur. Um, the shapes that we're going to be using to represent this part is going to be a small circle that's going to kind of represent, uh, well, not kind of, it's going to represent his head. And then the neck area is going to be represented by a half crescent shape. Um, it'll make a little bit more sense when I draw it in, but that's the shapes that we're going to be using to represent those areas. So let's get it drawn in. Okay, so step three is going to be drawing in the dinosaur body, his legs, and his feet. His body is, of course, going to be represented by a huge big circle. His legs are going to be represented by rectangles. And his feet is going to be represented by tapezoids, tra trapezoids. Y'all, don't, don't, don't clown me on my pronunciation, okay? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so let's get ready and draw this in.
All right, step four, let's draw in the tail. Step five, let's put in the wings. All right, step six, let's put in the mountains. All right, step seven, the bushes. Step eight, let's create the sun. All right, everybody, we on step nine. We're going to actually go ahead and combine step nine and step 10 together. And that's going to be drawing in the clouds and the birds. So let's do that.
Hey everybody, so we have come to the end of today's art tutorial. I think it came out very, very beautiful. I hope you all enjoyed today's process as much as I enjoyed it today as well. Um, if you follow along, please, in the comment section below, post your drawings or just tell me how your experience went. If you um, would love to see any future videos that will be coming up, please subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next art tutorial, everybody. Bye-bye and have a great day.